Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all. I'd like to begin by offering a prayer for Jamal, who has passed away. May God have mercy on his soul and grant him the highest of rewards and his family and friends' patience and the civilized world, the endurance to be able to put up with this horrifying experience. Freedom is what we all want, but freedom is the first thing and the first right that is denied to the masses across the world by the despots and the dictators, especially in countries like Saudi Arabia. Jamal Khashoggi has stood for freedom. He wrote for freedom. He died for freedom. I believe Muslims in the Arab world and the Muslim countries have forgotten the real experience of freedom. Because for decades, they've lived under illegitimate rulers, dictators and despots, monarchs, who have systematically dismantled all aspect of freedom from society. Jamal Khashoggi was championing freedom for the people of Middle East. What he couldn't achieve in his life, he was able to achieve this by his death. May God have mercy on his soul. There is no freedom of worship, there is no freedom of expression or speech or participation in those countries. Ordinary people live in constant fear of their lives and remain absent from public discourse. Freedom has become a figment of their imagination. Jamal Khashoggi lived for freedom, wrote for freedom and died for freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, the paradox is the, that the heartland of Islam that set free the entire people of Middle East and subsequently influenced freedom of people worldwide today is completely devoid of the very basic right to freedom. To me, Saudi Arabia is a terrible example of Islam and the Muslims across the globe. So the Arabia has been dominating the news for its treatment of Muslim theologians, academics, journalists, and anyone who has voiced any concern against the kingdom and its despotic rulers, especially the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. I've experienced this myself firsthand. I've been an imam in one of the Saudi funded mosques in London for 22 years. My contract with them was that I would speak freely without anyone reigning or telling me what to say. All the previous dictators and despots tolerated my freedom. But Mohammed bin Salman has shown a very different attitude towards even people like me. I received my marching order the same week Jamal Khashoggi was killed because I spoke up against it, because I wrote against it, and I delivered sermons in other mosques against this brutal behavior. After 22 years, when they told me to get lost, I told them I was waiting for it for 22 years. It's a badge of honor that I've, you have told me to go. I was only serving because people there wanted me, not because the authorities wanted my speech or my freedom. I am still alive, ladies and gentlemen. I've only lost one platform. Hundreds of other platforms have opened and many mosques have opened their doors. However, our dear friend, our brother, Jamal Khashoggi has paid a huge price for freedom with his life. May God have mercy on him, on his soul. These leaders do not hesitate to cut down thousands of people to restrain all of us and our freedom and sustain the status quo. The reasons for draconian rules and restraints are purely selfish. They wish to remain in power eternally and they wish to enjoy nation's wealth illegally. How to turn freedom, how to return freedom in the Arab and the Muslim world requires rethinking and robust actions. Jamal Khashoggi's death has paved the way, in my view, for that struggle. It has paved the way for our governments 
to shed its double standard and hypocrisy, its cover-up and its arms deals. Britain, America are at the forefront and I'm ashamed of our government's stance and its silence. You all know that freedom is never absolute, but nevertheless it is your absolute right to be able to make choices freely, including express your thoughts freely, take part in discussions and debates freely, to be able to determine your own future freely, and freely partake in elections, either as a voter or as a candidate for public office. You can forget that for the Middle East. Hasn't happened, and when it did happen in Egypt, Saudi Arabia and some of the other culprits bankrolled the destruction of democracy and supported return of the pharaoh, the dictator general, Sisi. You should be able to take your leaders to account freely, and you can forget that in the Middle East too. Jamal Khashoggi died for freedom, lived for freedom, and wrote for freedom. When your basic rights to freedom is consistently broken, you are punished by people who are rulers by virtue of lineage, nepotism, cronyism, corruption, and state-sponsored terror. It is time to rethink. It is time to wake up and smell the coffee and for the rest of us to wake up and support them. I have a message for Salman. Oh, Muhammad bin Salman. I struggle to utter the beautiful and glorified name Muhammad in addressing your name. For the name Muhammad was the name of the blessed prophet of God, the mercy to the universe. You don't deserve such an honorable name. Your actions have totally denigrated Islam and its values. You have failed to offer protection to life, liberty, property, intellect, family, faith of people, the very basic principles of Islam. O bin Salman, you certainly do not deserve to be called the custodian of Islam's holiest site, Khadim al Haramain Sharifain. For for you to become Khadim al Haramain Sharifain, you need to be honorable yourself. You have desecrated Islam and its holiest sites. You have become a brutal murderer and you have murdered Jamal Khashoggi. O oh, Salman bin Salman, you are a murderous wolf in sheep's cloak. Do yourself a big favor. Hand over Jamal's body to the civilized people of the world, his family and his loved ones, and let us offer a dignified, honorable funeral and bid him farewell. For he owes that from us, and we deserve to give him a good goodbye. O bin Salman, admit your role in this murder and hand yourself over to the international law that we still have and face the consequences of your action. And bin Salman, you and your regime and your royal family have been responsible for locking up scholars, academics and journalists. Free them now. Free all the political opponents. And I know our politicians are very shy of calling it, and some of our academics are also shy of calling it, but I'll call for it. Royal family of Saudi Arabia are illegitimate, despotic, and the sooner they go, the quicker the Middle East will experience freedom. We should not support them ever, for they, not, they do not have any legitimacy. We should give back the local people the right to freedom, local people the right to vote for their own leadership and to determine their own future. May God have mercy on the soul of Jamal Khashoggi. May God have mercy on you, my dear sister Khadija, and the families who have lost their loved ones. And may God have mercy on the rest of us who stand on the shoulder of a giant who has paid with his dear life for freedom. Thank you very much.